Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We're going to go ahead and get started with our praise and worship. But first, with a word of prayer, let us bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for a brand new day and a brand new mercy of God that you allow us to see, oh God. Lord, we just thank you today that you allowed us to come to celebrate our youth and our children, oh God. Lord, we just ask you to come into the service and let your presence reign. In Jesus' name, amen. Wave your hand if you have something good to thank God for. Wave your hand if you have something good to thank God for. Let's give God a hand clap of praise. We ask that you stand on your feet if you can and worship with us. Give God praise. Praise the Lord, everybody.
children. Amen. Letissa, is there a possibility you can just probably move up if you could with Sister Tawana? Yes. Amen. All right. Very good. Very good. Amen. Hallelujah. All right then. All right. I think we pretty much got everyone pretty separate. We have a couple of, well the graduates can probably sit close by. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We got to keep these things decent in order, okay? Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. We're still in the midst of a pandemic. Yeah. Amen. And we're not trying to kill the spirit. Amen. We're just trying to set the house in order. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Somebody ought to say, get yeah. the house in order. Yeah. Uh, amen. Hallelujah. We're coming in. Amen. Hallelujah. Zen, stay right there in that time. Yeah. Amen. There you go. Move down, son. No, just move down. Move down. Move down. There you go. Amen. And mom can come. All right. Okay. All right. There you go. Bring me down. She can sit on the same pew with, uh, amen. Move down, sir. Oh, uh, is that so? Yeah, y'all move on down. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I think we're, I think we're okay for right now. Okay. Amen. Jeanette, if anyone comes in, the sewers, uh, just move them to the center uh, seat there behind Sister Humphreys, okay? It, it, yeah, just move them to the center, and that will give us the separation that we need, okay? Yeah. All right, and, and you, yeah, you might be able to put one on the end right there. Yeah. All right, there you go. All right, so we've got C41 or two that may come in. Amen. At this time, we're going to ask, amen, that you will stand. Amen. And let's receive our 2021 graduates. Amen. of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us be seated. Amen. Let us bow. Gracious and heavenly Father, we are so thankful that you're here with us today. Lord Father, we invite you in right now to take the high seat. That Lord God Almighty, as we go through this worship service and even to honor our graduates, oh God, and to recognize our children, Lord, let us set our eyes and our hearts on heaven right now. For Lord, you are a good God and you are welcome in this place. In the mighty name of Jesus and the church of God, say amen. Say amen. And one more time, like you truly mean. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We're going to have our morning prayer. Uh, Sky is coming now. Amen. To, amen. To pray to the Almighty God. Amen. Come on up to the uh, altar here, sweetheart. And 
Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You can kneel right at the altar. Amen. And uh, amen. We've got a mic here for you. Amen. And when you finish, just take the cover with you. Okay, sweetie? All right. God bless you. Let us now join her in prayer as she come now to render her prayer. Let us bow our heads. Dear Lord, thank you for gathering us here today to honor the youth and the graduates. A year ago, we were not able to do this, but I am so glad that we are able to do it today. I thank you for allowing us graduates to hit a milestone that many didn't think we would accomplish due to this pandemic. In all, I just want to say thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. and it's good to see you all. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, we're not totally at norm yet, but that day is coming. Amen. When hallelujah got to tighten up and we can get as many in as we can. So we are just thankful for your coming out today. Amen. To recognize our children and our youth. Amen. At this time, amen, we want to present to you our Christian Education Director. Amen. Uh, Sister Joanne Stokes will now come. Amen. And to, amen. And to bless us. Good morning. Good morning. It is my pleasure to recognize the 2021 graduates of Evans Metropolitan and Zion Church. And they are, please stand. Miss Nakia Brown, she's a 2021 grad E. E. Smith graduate. Uh, she is going to attend Fayetteville State University in the fall. All right. <laughs>
And may God bless you. So when you're not in the study hall, I expect for you to be in the worship hall, okay? All right, amen. That's my word to you today. We are so glad. Amen. Now, videographer, amen, Brother Brandon, you got to catch all of this now, okay? All right, and amen. All right, here comes Sister Brenda, our children's uh, director, amen, of the Christian education. She's coming now to recognize our children, okay? Yeah. Here she is. Good morning, church. Good morning. Could I get Miss Bullock to come down and assist me, please? Amen. Thank you. That's our superintendent of buds, amen, and she's coming down. Amen. She, know, she knows all 25 of them by name. That's right, and where they live and all of that. Um, it, we felt that it was uh, fitting that we celebrate the accomplishments of our children for this year. They met the challenge of COVID. They did homeschooling. They did a yeoman's job at progressing to the next level and doing outstanding work. So we at Evans, we always want to recognize good work, but we know that you did exceptional work this year. All right. All right, so we're gonna call the names and Yeah, Pastor, we do need you to bump them or, or to nod to them. Or some of them a little short. Remind me back in the 70s when we were in the book. She knows. Amen. Okay. Uh, parents, if you want to take a picture, we ask that you remain in your seat and uh, take take your pictures from your seat. You know, we're, we're still doing the distancing and everything. Okay, our first um, young Evan, Evanite is Carter Henry. Carter made the AB on roll, right. and he is going to the fourth grade. Right. And he had perfect attendance, and he was a terrific kid.
through the another week Go ahead, or girl. the second nine week. All right. The Bud Award, um, the ACT Award, mm. the Principal's List. All right. Go ahead, girl. Uh, the President's Award, and she is a brand new oh. acolyte. She's promoted to third grade. Now, we have uh, Elijah Miller, who is going to the sixth grade. Auntie, if you're going to come and, and get his certificate. 
Grandma. 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 Amen. Well, all right, Grandma. <laughs> Next we have Miss Delilah Hayes. Delilah is going to the sixth grade. All right. Go ahead, Delilah. Go ahead, Delilah.
All right. Amen. Now it's time to hear, amen, from our speaker. But before she comes, we are going to, amen, have an introduction. And then we also are going to have a pre-message selection by Miss Simone Gaddy. for about 10 minutes, amen? <laughs> hallelujah, because, amen, I'm on a break today. Amen, hallelujah. For a moment, she didn't show up, and I said, Lord Jesus, amen. I didn't bring a sermon with me, but hallelujah, Brown is here, amen. Sing it pretty, uh, Simone.
Somebody ought to be getting involved. Oh, Good job. Get set, go for God. Good morning. Good morning. It feels so good to be back in church. <laughs> Thank you, Nakaya, for reading that introduction. Good morning. I'm not going to be up here before you long. I was told 10 minutes, but it's probably shorter than 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so good to be back in church and able to see the wonderful faces of my church family. I'd like to say thank you to my support system, my grandmother, my mother, and my family near and far, as well as my church family. I would also like to say thank you to those who have congratulated me on my recent accomplishment of graduating from the Fellow State University. <laughs> Seems like yesterday I was just graduating from high school. <laughs> Three years ago, wow. Time is going by so fast. Mm -hmm. Lastly, I would like to say thank you to Ms. Stokes and the Christian Education for this opportunity to come before you and be the speaker for this graduation Sunday. To the class of 2021, we did it. We did it through a whole global pandemic. We did it through a computer screen. We did it through limited resources. We did it without seeing our classmates and friends for majority of the year. Lastly, we did it with the grace of God. Amen. Know that every generation has shared in a struggle of their own. Her hurdles come in many forms. COVID-19 was ours. But we have endured, we have overcome, and we are better for it. Do not look at this pandemic for its lost opportunities. If I could describe this journey in one word, it would be unprecedented. Unprecedented is defined as never done or known before. During this whole pandemic, we have done something never known before. From being scared of exposure or coming in close contact, being away from certain family members and friends, and being very cautious of who, being very cautious of who we are around. Week-long quarantines to distant learning, mass classes to countless amounts of online assignments, and maybe pulling a few all-nighters because we waited to last minute to do those countless amounts of those times. <laughs> 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 then, when it was time for everything to open back up, it was limited. I know band and football season was not the usual Friday night lights we are used to. Having less supporters in the stands, not being able to have the proper homecoming, or like me, not having a homecoming at all. Mm -hmm. It was a different experience. Living in such and precedent time made us cherish the small yet important aspects of life. Leaving the school grounds for field trips or even going off campus for a quick bite for lunch felt like freedom to us. We may have to have some type of Zoom party with family and friends to feel like the closest thing to a family reunion or a friend's birthday party. We have formed relationships with people we love, people that we went on this journey with us, and most importantly, having gained a closer relationship with God. We have learned to pray more, read, and study his word more. We have become more aware, more aware of who he is and what he's all about. But now, we took the biggest step of our lives, walking across the stage that we didn't think we were going to walk across due to COVID restrictions. And whether you take that next step and attend college, simply working a full-time job, or even going to the military, welcome to the real world. <laughs> for three years now and I have been out of college for only a month and some change. Within that time period, I have experienced the good and the bad. But through it all, there's only one reason I am able to stand here today. And that is by the grace of God. <laughs> and as you graduates know, you should now understand by now that he is the reason that you were able to graduate. He saw you through a whole global pandemic. Joshua, first chapter, verse 9 says, Have I not commanded you? Be
Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord God is with you wherever you go. Amen. If I could leave one piece of advice with you, it would be, as you start this new journey, take the Lord with you everywhere you go. <laughs> you might say to yourselves, we hear that so much in church, but trust me, it is very true. The real world is not a place that is going to play around with you. You're going to be approached in many situations where you will not have your mom and dad to call on. But if you just call on the name of Jesus, he'll be right there with you. So, take on the world. Go make something out of yourselves because you can do it. Keep the faith and keep your focus and you will make it. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 9 says, Remember the Lord in everything you do and he will show you the right way. Always put God first in your thoughts actions, decision making, and words. Do not forget where you have come from. Do not forget your church home. I know how things can be on a college campus. Do not get mixed up in the wrong crowd or group of friends. If you see or hear something that is not usual, turn around and go the other way. It is okay to say no. I would like to leave you with the five W's. One, who you are or what makes you special. Do not change for anyone. Two, what lies ahead will always be a mystery. Do not be afraid to explore. Three, when life pushes you over, you push back hard. Four, where there are choices to make, make the one you will not regret. Five, and not, last but not least, while things happen, you will never understand. Take stride and move forward. I believe that, is, that it is better to fail at doing something challenging, something worthwhile, and something you are excited to show the world, than to succeed doing something safe, something that will, will not actually inspire much at all. You learn with experience that some fear is good, not all. But when fear comes, when fear comes from a place of wanting to follow through with a passion, it is good. When it comes to your future experiences, as you enter the world with knowledge and excitement, as you choose opportunities, always remember, if you aren't scared, be worried. Again, congratulations to the graduates, to the youth and kids for making all these accomplishments. I'm so proud of y'all, and thank you. God knows you touched my heart today. You did a wonderful, 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 wonderful. Amen. And you know, let me give an invitation. And Grandma, you're not leaving here without saying something, okay? Amen. This young lady has been the love of your life. She's been right here in the house. Amen. She's been there with you through thick and thin. And so have you been with her. So I'm not going to let you walk out of here today. At least you say something about this young lady. Amen. I've only known her for two and a half years. But God know, amen, she has some stick to it. You know, amen. She's better than bubble gum that holds our bones together. Amen. She's awesome. God bless you. Amen. But let us take a moment, amen. Because she spoke of Christ. She spoke of Christ. She spoke of faith in the Almighty God. She gave us a word for us to feed on. And you know, in times like this, we must consider our faith, our belief in our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. 
Now, I will not say that I would be foolish to believe that everyone knows the Lord. Amen. But we must always give opportunity for those that, amen, are in the presence of the Almighty God. For the Spirit of God is here. Amen. And I'm just going to ask that you will bow your heads where you are. And that you will do an introspectful look at your just position in Christ. For God gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have eternal. And the same God that sent his son, the same God that Brianna spoke about, that will help you along the way, the same God is here today. But we cannot get to him but through Jesus Christ. So if it is you feel as though you're not close to God, it is very possible that Jesus has not come into your heart. So today I extend an invitation. An invitation to discipleship where you can say to yourself, Lord, here I am. Take me. thank God for the very soft music that has been played. For surely it ushers in the Spirit of God. And with the presence of God, the Holy Spirit being here, he may be drawing a nigh to Christ right now. So while all hearts and all minds are stayed upon the Lord, if you desire to be saved today by the resurrection, the blood, the death, and the resurrection of Christ, just slip your hand up and let me see you. If there be one. If there be one. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let the church of God say amen. Amen. I'm going to have all the youth, all the children, would you please stand where you are? Just bow with me. Gracious and Heavenly Father, here are our children. Here are our youth. We thank you, Lord, for each and every one of them. Father God, for their accomplishments. We thank you, God, for their achievements. We thank you, Lord, that, Father, they have done such a good job, such a good work, that today, O oh Lord, they stand in honor. But, Lord, it was not all by themselves, for you kept them. You protected them. You wrapped them. You put an edge of protection about them. That today, O oh Lord, we can honor them for what they have done. Bless them, O oh Father God, and keep them. As Father God, they continue on. As they matriculate through school. And even for Brianna, God, that will now embark upon a career. Will you bless them? Will you keep them and guide them? And thank you, God, for the parents and the grandparents, each and every one in their respective places. Thank you for the church members that have encouraged them in the name of Jesus. Lord, we love them. 
But Lord, not as much as you love them. And God, this is my prayer for them. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Oh, God bless you. You may be seated. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. At this time, amen. Grandma, we want to hear what you have to say. <laughs> How many of y'all know the Lord has been working on this man, right? Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm so happy to be back in church. But Brianna, I haven't had any problems out of her except the one time I had to go to school. And that was because she was doing a lot of talking. <laughs> and she was the only child, you know, to stay at my home. Uh, I guess you had to have, you know, a lot of people to talk to or whatever. My grandma wasn't doing a whole lot of talking. <laughs> I was trying to uh, get her own her way up. You got to start with these children when they're very young. That's right. Mm -hmm. You got to start with them when they're small. You are not their friend. You are their parent, their That's lover, right. or whatever. And I guess I was the terror. <laughs> uh, I, 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 like I said, I hadn't had any problems out of her or whatever. Uh, naturally, when they grow up, they, you know, they get a little talkative sometimes and whatever, but we're fine. I know how to straighten that out. <laughs> <laughs> and before we leave, every morning, Brianna and I, we have prayer. Before she walk out the house, she'll come to the foot of my bed, and I have to say a prayer because a lot of times she'll be leaving or going somewhere or whenever we're in our car or, or whatever. And as for me, I was, uh, Diagnosed with bone cancer, whatever. Now the doctor said he did not see it. Amen. Amen. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my and they prayed over me and anointed me with oil. And I've been doing that each and every day. All right. All right. And with my trust and faith in Jesus. Hallelujah. And I'm just going on. Yes, some of them are going to come in, you know, some days are, are good, but most of my days are good. I, at one time, when I first started out, I was having a bad day. But I put my trust and faith in this Heavenly Father. All right. Yeah. All right. And I really do appreciate what the pastor and the other assistant pastors and whatever they done to me. And I just continue on praying, not only for me, but for others, too. Yes. Amen. 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 And that God makes favor a special place. Yes. Amen. Yes. All right. God bless you. Amen. Guessing, okay, <laughs> but I kind of figured with somebody special sitting that close. Amen. Uh -huh. To God be the glory. My brother, just to let you know, Amen. We love you, Thank and you. you're always welcome in this house. Amen. 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 God be the glory. Amen. Amen. And the next time I see the kids of Shemet, I'm hoping you're sitting right next to them. Okay? <laughs> all right, Amen. Uh, all the youth and the uh, Amen and the uh, children. Come up here and say something real quick. Come on up here, Yvette. Come on up here, uh, amen. Brenda, amen. Just one at a time. You don't want to say nothing? You're too full? Amen. I got you. Amen. I understand. Okay. You got your cover? No. Where your cover? No. Yes, it is. No. 
education department down at our church when she was a little baby and then I just look around all of y'all are my babies and I look up. Thank you. 
social distancing. At this time, we have reached the epitome of our service. We thank God for each one of you. Amen. That came out today. Again, congratulations to our graduates. We are so proud of you. Amen. And, uh, let me tell you something. And this deserves a hand to you all. Amen. The district had a, a scholarship program that was put together by a presiding elder. Amen. Which is presiding elder. Amen. Doctor, Reverend Dr. Joseph C. Brown, Sr. <coughs> And amen, we had two from the Evans Church that applied for the scholarship. I don't know how many others may have uh, also applied, but the only two that were recipients of that scholarship is Sky and Nikaya. Come on. <laughs> Hard work do pay off, don't it? But we're not done yet. Amen. There's more scholarships out there, and we're going to check every one of them out, okay? Because you're going to need every penny when you, go to, when you go to college. All right? Amen. Hallelujah. Am I right, Tawana? Amen. Amen. She needs all the help you can get, okay? All right. Now, just real quick, just by way of instructions, okay? We're not going to gather and herd out of here, okay? After the benediction, which we're going to have uh, the uh, candles to be uh, extinguished here, what we'll do is after that, and I say the benediction, we'll stand, and we're going to begin at the front, and the ushers will bring you out. No herding around, no hand, no uh, shaking, no kissing, no hugging, and all of that. Just get out the building, okay? Now, when you get to your car, you do all you want to do in the car. But please, amen, let us be orderly as we leave here. There will be a large brown envelope, amen, in the usher's hand as you go out. If there is going to be a contribution for today, amen, drop it in there. Your tithe, your offering, or whatever you would like to deposit, please do that for us. And then, clear the church, amen, to God be the glory, amen. Let us have the candles to be extinguished.
I also need your prayer. Out on Facebook, we thank you, amen, for tuning in to us today. We pray, God, that you have, amen, seen, heard something today that would make a difference in your life. But God bless you. Don't forget you can contribute, amen, the cash app or the mailing address is there for you, amen, it's posted. So please support the ministry, amen, and we'll give God thanks. But also to say to everyone else, on this uh, Thursday, which is July the 1st, is when we will find out, amen, our faith, F-A-T-E that is, because we have faith, but we'll know our F-A-T-E as far as our litigation. That is mediation. That's where the insurance company gonna make a decision. Either settle with us or take us to court. Amen? And they don't want to take us to court. Hallelujah. For God is on our side. He's a lawyer in the courtroom and God will help us. Amen? But I need some prayer warriors this week. Amen. I don't want to want you praying. I want you fasting also right, too. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. I'll be fasting. I pray God that all of you all will be fasting. Be careful in your fasting medication and all of that. But we are praying. Amen. That amen. That there will be a difference and a decision on Thursday. Okay? Amen. We're waiting two and a half years. And here we are. We have waited on the Lord. And the Lord is on our side. Amen. And when God is on our side, it's more than what? The whole world against us. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. With, amen. With bow your heads. Now may the peace of God which passes all understanding guard your hearts and your minds in the love of his very wonderful son, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Now may the blessings of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost be with you and rest with you henceforth and forevermore. Let us all sing together. begin, amen, at the front if you just stand.